Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hannah and it is beautiful to meet you. Today I'm doing a Q&A video. Should that be my new thing? Q&A? No, okay, I need to stop. Girly Addict asks, would you rather have finger-sized legs or leg-sized fingers? Ooh. You know what? I want finger-sized legs only because if my legs are that small, then the rest of me is probably that small. So then I'm like a little Ant-Man, and then I can like do little Ant-Man things. You know, have you guys seen the movie Ant-Man? That's why. Because just imagine having legs on your hand, but like still being the size. Like that would be a lot. Brenda Gonzalez asks, would you ever DIY your hair a weird color? And yes, but not the whole head of hair. I think I would love to do some like crazy color tips to my hair like red even though my hair's red but like a fiery red but I really want to like ombre my tips into a color but I would never do my whole head of hair just because I can't do that at my job so but I think it would be fun. Lily Nugayan asks do you have any fears and then they continue on to say mine is fear of dogs and cats but I adore them I don't know what is wrong with me. I can never imagine being afraid of a dog and a cat. Dogs I can kind of understand but cats speaking of dogs Mine's going crazy. My fear is probably dying alone. I feel like that's just like a basic one, but I'm really afraid to like die alone and like not never be married, never have kids, just be me all alone. I feel like it's really sad and I don't want that. Alyssa Jade asks, if you had to wear nachos or ice cream for clothes, what would it be? And 100% nachos, and the reason why I say this is because it's more coverage. Because ice cream melts, but nachos, first of all, you have the chips, that's more coverage. And then the cheese doesn't melt because it's already melted and it's not going to like drip off your body. If anything, it'll harden and turn into clothes. That's why I choose nachos, which is a really good explanation if you ask me. Like, I thought real hard about that. Jalissa Walker asks, would you rather have everything in the world but not see it, or would you want to travel the world and have nothing? I would 100% rather travel the world and have nothing. I say all of the time that I just wish I could go away, travel the world, not have any jobs, no responsibilities, and I would love that. Like, to be able to just travel the world, go to Paris, to Amsterdam, go to... Ireland, Scotland, Alaska, like I would love to go to all of these places and experience the cultures and everything that's different and even if I couldn't take anything away from that, I would like I would still take away like the memories and the experience. Like I'm not a person who needs fancy things, I just want good people around me and I want cool experiences. So if I could have that, I would love, 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 love that. Like that's like the goal of life. Andrea Todd asks, is high school what it's like on TV? And I'd say no for the most part. Um, like if you've ever watched The Secret Life of the American Teenager, high school is nothing like that. No one is getting, okay, like don't get me wrong, there is cattiness and there are fights, but it is not that dramatic. TV makes high school so much more dramatic. For me, high school is not dramatic. For the most part, no, I don't think high school is that dramatic, especially like the one that I went to. There was never anything dramatic about it. It was just like you were all there to do school. Everyone pretty much got along. Obviously, there are a few kids who were outcasts and I mean, that sucks, but like it's nothing like it was in movies or TV or anything like that. It's not that glamorous. It's really not. Okay, Sierra Ackerman asked a couple questions. So the first question is, would you do the kids makeup challenge where you only use children's makeup to do your everyday routine? And I would, um, I would just have to find some kids makeup. That's like my one problem. Then she asked, in the future, would you end up doing follow me around vlog videos as your channel gets bigger and bigger? Thank you for saying my channel is going to get bigger and bigger. That's like a compliment and a question. But yes, definitely, when my channel does pick up, keyword I say does because I know one day I'm going to reach my goal. But when it does get bigger and bigger, I really do want to do daily vlogs and follow me around videos. But right now, all I do is work, so it's not really interesting for me to show you like, hi, I'm up at 6.30 a.m. to go to work. Hi, it's noon, I'm eating a salad. Hi, it's five, I'm driving home. Like, that's not interesting. And I want to show you guys interesting content. So when my channel does get bigger, I will definitely be doing vlogs. I think I actually want a whole vlogging channel, so yeah. Then she asks, what is your favorite color? And my favorite color is teal, definitely, or mustard yellow. Then she asks, I want to start my own YouTube channel, but I'm not sure what I want to do as an opening video. Do you have any suggestions? Um. It depends on what you want your YouTube channel to be. Do you, If you want it to be kind of like mine where I do, 
you know, hauls, makeup, I do whatever I want kind of, then I think you should just do a video introducing yourself and like say what you're going to do and then post a video like a day later of like an actual video. Because I know like an introduction video isn't going to get that many views, but I think it's still good to have like your first video be something that's going to explain. Like you can make your first video your tra channel trailer, you could. Or you could just do something you love. So let's say that you want to do hauls and you want to do makeup videos. Make your first video a haul. Um, a haul might pick up some following and then in that video you can like say hey it's my first video I'm doing a haul I plan on doing more hauls and then if someone likes hauls they'll follow your channel so something that anything that you, I think it should be something based on what you want your channel to be don't just do like a random video f to get views like if you want to do makeup videos don't make your first video a rumor like a gossip video you know like you want to stay in the spectrum of where you want to be on YouTube you know I'm just gonna do a couple more because I know this video is probably getting a little long Aliyah Vega asks, what is your favorite type of YouTube video? And definitely conspiracy theories. Those videos are my jam. Shane Dawson, he is my bae. He is the best one at conspiracy theories. And Kendall Ray is really good at conspiracy theories. My actual favorite conspiracy theory video is the Titanic one that Kendall Ray did. Fun fact. This is my last question, but MSP Girl asks, I just started watching you and I love your videos. Thank you. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? And I definitely say Gilmore Girls. I grew up watching that show with my mom and sister. And we always joked that we were kind of like Lorelai and Rory. We were all kind of like, that's how my mom was and that's how we were and we all love coffee. So I feel like Gilmore Girls is definitely like the one that like when I was growing up was the best. But also Lost was a good one because that came out when I was pretty young. And then also Seventh Heaven. So those are all like my favorite shows from when I was a kid. Alrighty guys, that concludes my Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment below any videos that you want me to do, any conspiracy videos you want to see, any funny videos you want to see, any kind of video you want to see. Make sure you comment them down below and I will do that. But I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.